Hi Felters and welcome. My name is Philippa and this is a very particular video for somebody who is a brand new, never felted before, it's got their starter kit, or for somebody who is nervous, or for someone who's had a go at felting and it hasn't quite worked out. We're going to make this little ball and this little heart. So Felters, let's get started. Uh, don't be nervous, I'm going to lead you through it. So things you should uh, get in a starter kit or a kit that you might have ordered. Uh, first off is the wool. This is a carded wool. You can see it because the fibres are quite meshed up. This is a roving or tops. Sometimes roving is a bit of a mixed term. You can get carded roving, but we'll we'll call it tops. And you can see it's all in one direction. And when you pull it apart, move your fingers quite far away, you can see how it's all sort of in that direction there. Whereas this one, if you pull this apart, it's still very meshed up. This carded wool is a lot easier to start with. If you have um, a tops type will you can card it yourself by just pulling it apart and making it a little bit more mixed up and that makes it a bit quicker to felt otherwise it can take a long time for a beginner so let's get into it um, my needle I have here is a 38 triangular it's a very simple first off starter needle <clears throat> excuse me and I have got some finger guards so the short one goes on the thumb and the long one goes on the finger and there we go and I recommend wearing these for a beginner after a while you probably won't want to wear them so we take a stretch of wool about seven or eight inches long um, and this rope-like structure is called a slither you can get wool in what's called a bat and so you take the end and you roll it tight now i'm going to go for some close-ups i'm in shot there we go roll it up tight the tighter you roll it the easier it is to felt so there we go and i'm going to hold it with my fingers get my needle and start going in and out go in and out at the same angle no twisting because that's how you'll break your needles and needles do break it's not the end of the world but let's start by going in and out and you can see there's a few little marks there that you've made already and just to note I'm not pushing it in too far and it's already gone through about an inch and a half. That's why it's always best to have a mat underneath. So just speeding it up in one area. There we go. So I've done quite a few, didn't take long. And then I'm going to turn it round and do some more. In, out, in, out. I don't always sit there and go in and out in the same spot because that will just felt that area loads and that you'll end up with a hole. So it is best to move around a little bit. But keep it at the same angle in and out. When you push the needle in, so I'm just turning it around again to get to the other side. When you push the needle in, that is when the barbs are doing the work and you will feel the resistance as you push in. When you pull out, it's smooth. So the barbs are knitting the wool and forcing it inwards. And that's why when you felt, items get smaller. There is no way, depending on your finger guards, that you are going to hurt yourself. But do obviously try not to stab directly into them because it's not good for the needle. Turn it around again. You can see all of this hasn't been felted. I am supporting it with my finger here to help control. You can do it from the top. Some people do. I prefer to 
support the needle and just to show you I also put black tape on mine because it makes it a lot more comfortable to hold and there are all sorts of needle felting holders so turn it round again try and find areas you haven't done and very soon I'll be able to let go of it and it won't sort of unravel so that point you've sort of started to mesh it so there you go so that is I was just turning it it's a rough shape of a ball it's not tidy yet it's not really circular but you have started and it's knitted together really quite well already so now I can hold it a bit more gentler because I know it's not going to unravel and then I just keep working all these fluffy areas that hasn't been done that has been done just keep working the fluffy areas now this is a real-time felt of how I'm doing a ball so you can get an idea if you are using <coughs> excuse me should have a cup of tea I normally do if you are using um, stuff that is like the tops it can take you longer basically the needle slips between the fibers a lot easier and doesn't mesh them together as fast so that's why carded wool is so much easier to um, or quicker and also you know in the beginning you just want to sort of make something don't you and see what it's like so if you're spending hours on a bit of tops wool it can be a bit disappointing whereas you can see real time I don't know how long we've been going for six minutes we've got a ball now um, I do normally felt a little bit faster sort of like that once you get used to it but we're just doing it at a, a slow definite pace whilst you get used to going in and out at the same angle and it's gentle I'm, I'm not I'm not like stabbing it's a gentle felt and especially when you get to doing the uh, neatening of the top bit where it's really fluffy you don't want to be felting once you've felted see that that's quite squidgy or um it's quite firm already and I have done a, a video on when is my work felted? Is it felted enough? And, and a lot of that can be up to you because some people quite like soft felts, but some people, it's if you've got a firm felt, it's going to last a lot longer is, is the main issue and obviously hold together better. But see, I'm constantly just turning and moving and just getting little bits. And it is... I, I love felting it is very therapeutic I have to say please don't watch TV and needle felt I mean you can have the TV on I watch YouTube now that's a little bit of um, <clears throat> what we call organic matter and that's uh, like it could be straw hay something from the field and the mills can't get everything out just pull it out especially if it's on the surface because it shows Um, but need yeah watching tv now i have youtube on all the time when i'm felting but i don't actually watch it if if you take your eyes off this you will stab yourself i promise you and if you're stabbing yourself a lot make sure that you're concentrating on what is going on in front of you not talking i mean you can have uh, you can felt with other people when lockdown's all finished and hopefully we've all had the vaccine um, and that's lovely, but you really have to concentrate on what you're doing and where you're putting that needle. And it, yeah, it does hurt. You can draw blood. Um, but if you try and be a little bit careful, you'll be fine. I break needles still. I mean, I've been felting for about four years. So don't think that, you know, you won't break needles because it still happens. Especially I work with quite a lot of wire armature. And when you hit the wire, that's when you're likely to uh, break a needle but see that needle there is quite still bending a bit if I was to do that and it wouldn't take much for me to snap it so there we go so 
literally keep turning keep rolling I'm trying to slow down a bit so not go too fast for you so there we go um and I just take my finger guards off so once you get to about there it's quite firm it's nice it's not like tennis ball hard I'll just go out a bit for this this happen this is is a really good thing to do to help it be really circular it's really simple roll it between your hands and this also helps smooth the edges and the fluffiness and there you go there's a ball so hopefully you've managed to make sorry the bits on my mat you've managed to make something similar so i do a video on you can make a garland you can make a necklace out of these don't think that you can't make something straight away if you're a felter and if you get a kit um, I would suggest choosing a kit of something that you really like and want to make and, and is for beginners as well. So that's the first bit. Let's move on to the heart. Here we are with, now I've chosen cookie cutters because they are uh, quite good for beginners because you hold the outside, you don't always have to wear your finger guards and it's quite safe. You just have to make sure that you're not hitting the edge of the metal whereas I just go straight down right to the edge and it's not a problem it's really good we're going to do the heart I've done some hearts here that's with mixed colors that was with a sparkle um, and the hearts are lovely really really pretty that's just a little circular one you could do a flat thing and put things uh, designs on it and that's a flower and that's a star when you do more complex ones the star ones a little bit harder to get the points really good but I do do how to get a smooth finish with a star one and I iron it and I use special needles and try to get the smoothest finish. So that's worth looking at. So these are slightly harder, those two. Um, and you can get like dog cookie cutters. Uh, I do a unicorn one, but we're going to do the heart because it's a lovely shape and it's a quick and easy way to get. That should be that way around, I think, to get a sort of a nice, cute heart. Now, this is a pink and it's carded, so I'm just going to test and see how much I think I'm going to need. So I think I'm going to need about that much, and you're really, you're really going to have to force it in. And I'm just going to, even with this one, I'm just going to fluff it up a bit. Try and do all of what you're going to do for the whole thing in one go, so try and make it thick enough. So there's the heart. Let's just go a bit closer. And you literally get that and shove it in. And it's it's literally trying to escape. That's the level you want it at. And I'm holding it down and then you start felting up and down. Just poke those edge bits in there. And the first thing that you're trying to do here is just make it stay in. And there it is, it's starting to stay in. And I'm just pushing a little bit over to the edge there. If you had a 36 needle, that would be really good. A nice strong needle really helps for this, especially if you did accidentally poke the edges. But I really, I don't have a problem with hitting the edges and breaking needles. So it's all in now. It's not jumping out it does stick to the mat so at this stage keep a finger there scrape your finger underneath and just peel it off and it does it always sticks to the mat that's quite normal you see it's staying in it's still all poking out either side but put it um, back down now you've peeled it off and just start felting again and if I just work on one half Mind your fingers there, but you can move your fingers out of the way with the cookie cutters, which is why I really like them and it feels quite safe using cookie cutters. And there we go, it's squashing down a bit. In, out, same angle. Moving around, it's quite gentle. I literally, even though I don't feel I'm going in that far, it's still going in quite far, the needle. You've got to, obviously the barbs have got to go in far enough to work. If you can see the barbs go quite high up on the needle there. They're the little notches. And I'm just getting the edges there very gently. And there you can see the difference 
between one side and the other which is why when you put it in so I've just peeled it off again because it's good for it to just be peeled off that's probably going to be the side we'll end end up with finishing with because it's really smooth and lovely when we tidy that up but um yeah peel it off again but and then keep felting it down on the other side and if it gets to that stage where you think your fingers are a bit close turn it upside down and carry on and again how long have we been doing this four minutes definitely if things are taking you far too long it could be your wool so look for wool that has the word carded I think you can get roving I think in America there's a couple of different terms I'm not sure but if it says carded roving then it will be like this it will be sort of meshed up a bit and that just makes it faster the tops um, I use a lot for coats of all my animals so tops is fantastic for um, decorative effects there's a couple of felters that use just tops um, wool felt xi i think she is on her channel and you can see her do stuff and she's brilliant and she uses just tops straight off but as a beginner carded is a lot easier and you see i'm just working my way around just going to have a peel off again and i'm just going to do a tiny bit more and then i'm going to pop it out of the mold Just trying to get in the edges there to make sure the edges are neat see so working along that edge bit there i certainly had enough wool to reach the point just turn it around again there we go so um, it's all done and I'm just going to pop it out the side of the cookie cutter that doesn't have the rim on it and there we go so put that to the side now you can see quite a lot of the needle marks on that side but that one's quite smooth now you then take your needle and we'll do a little bit of tidying up now personally I do like a slightly thinner needle for tightening up and neatening now this bit here I'm going to be holding it so I'm going to put my finger guards back on so there's definitely no issues and I'm just going to go around the edge a bit neatening and tidying and giving it a bit more of a flatter edge So this needle I've got here is a 40, I think it is a 40 star and star is to do with the shape of the one we were using before was a triangle and you can actually see the triangular shape of the needles. Go and watch a video, I've got a video on needles and explain everything to you. It's, there's a quick five minute one which is really good. It seems like a lot to learn in the beginning, but literally there's only a couple of things is your wool type and needles. Get to grips with that. And then everything else is just practice. And then if you want to do things with wire armature, that's just another step, another stage. So you see how we've neatened up the edge bit there. We're going to go and do the same on the other side. I prefer, oh, see there's a bit of organic matter there and really use a stronger needle to dig stuff out don't ever you'll break fine needles so I just pull that out because that showed a bit and then just get the felt the uh, fluff back in how peaceful everyone's gone out so I thought I could do the video quickly because <laughs> normally I do voiceovers afterwards because it's too noisy in this house and it's raining outside so 
it's a bit of a miserable day. So it's a nice day to stay in and felt. So just working down to the point. Try not to get rid of the point. I don't want to felt upwards too much there because it might flatten the point too much. Just turn it round. If I can get the top bit a bit more. And I just sort of, I'm just rounding the edges off here. And we just, it's just two simple shapes for you, the round ball and the heart. And you could make really cute little necklaces with these or garlands. And then you can take the cookie cutters to, you know, the next stage and do other shaped things that you want to do. Christmas time, we do Christmas trees. They're so easy. And then you just decorate them. I'm going to do a proper one on Christmas trees. Um, and then you can move on to simple animal shapes. And he's just made up of a ball and a sort of longer ball. Oh, sorry, you can't see him. He's just made up of a of a ball and then a longer ball and then smaller balls and another ball. And, <laughs> and that sounds a bit rude. And then um, some ears. So it's just building on the shapes that you can make and practicing them. Am I still in shot? Yes. So there we go. That is a sweet little heart shape. I would probably just define that bit a bit more. Minding my fingers. I hope I don't poke myself whilst doing this video. There we go. So there we go. And that, that's one with mixed colours. That's one with um, sparkle. That's quite, it's a bit harder to felt that one in actually because the sparkle stuff is synthetic and it doesn't felt um, there's a purple one so felters well done thanks for letting me take you through your journey just as you're beginning your needle felting i hope you've enjoyed it i have lots of other videos so do have a look through my channel any questions pop them below and i'll try to answer them and remember you always improve with each felt have patience and just enjoy it thanks everybody see you soon